Now in this video, on the first episode of the Hidden Gem series, I get to experience a very cool place in Krakow that I'd never even heard of. Stay tuned as I'm pretty sure that you will want to visit this place as well. Folks, welcome back to a brand new video. Oh my goodness. Listen, let me tell you. I just got dropped off, right? And I have no idea where I'm going. It's like um, a big massive car park on a motorway type thing. But apparently, this is where I need to be to get to Zach Shovek. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but don't worry, because this place is a good option for you to visit when you're going to crack off and somewhere a little bit different. I'm in the shade right now. Um, it's not hot, it's just sunny. Oh look, I think I'm gonna get picked up by a local. I'm gonna show you where we're going, folks. You'll enjoy it, trust me. This is why you would visit, because look at the viewpoint, folks. They've got benches and everything. If you fancy a dip, this is where you would go. So when you are in Krakow, it takes you literally 10 minutes using Bolt or Uber to get to this place. Minimal cost. And it gets you away from the hustle and bustle. But for those of you who are outdoor enthusiasts, trust me, So this is a bloody swimming pool that you can go and visit in the summer when it is cooking in Krakow. Um, oh look, see where I am now, okay. You can just sit on the bench. There's a couple and you've got the view right there. Top up your tan do all sorts and look there's a pathway as well so if you look you can go all the way around you can go all the way down 
as well. So if you like walks, nature, this is the hidden gem of Krakow that you ain't going. Of course, Auschwitz and all those places you should go, absolutely. But in the summertime, try and come here, it's fantastic. Geological formations all around. And I'm just going to go down the steps now. See, I am feeling extremely light these days, so I need to get my tan on. By the end of the summer, I'm going to look like Akon. But look, you can even tan in this section here, but I doubt it because the sun's not reaching this part. But can you see the limestone formations here all the way around? And I think this is a fantastic idea to put a pool around here. That bit looks special though because you got the gap between the two. I'd like a speedboat just to go through. I'm wondering how far it goes around the corner. But look, there's a guy on the paddleboard. So if you do want to visit, I mean, bloody hell, to be honest with you, you have a choice. I'll switch on Monday, Zach Shrevek on Tuesday. There's people tanning. Folks, how special is this place? But also, what a great way of using this area. Because imagine if it was just full of rocks built up and everything, it'd be rubbish. But they've turned it this into quite a fun outdoor activity to do so okay the good thing is if you do forget things like refreshments and stuff like that there's a place that you can have something but also it has a really good view as well what's nice about it there's no rubbish here there's no silliness going on it's just people enjoying the slight earlier warm temperatures. But you can even come here by buy, buy a bike. You can rent one from Krakow if you want. And then just ride over it. it this is what's happening at the end of the rainbow badly needed folks I'm in this place you can go up the stairs for a sick view. Look at this. Talk to me about this, ladies and gents. This is the other side of it. Do I not show you hidden gems, even though all the locals from Krakow will be saying, hold on a minute, I come here all the time. But on this channel, I try to help you out to visit other cool places than the ones that are talked about in the fucking magazines all the time. So I'm gonna have a nice coffee, sit with a wonderful view, and I will catch you all later. Folks, just to let you know, I bought a nice latte. I'll be honest with you, it is quite expensive. Um, I 
I think it costs um, 23 Z, which is pretty high. But then I guess when you come out here, which is away from everything, and the attraction is just there, I would charge more because it means that everyone will need to use a the toilet and they want to get some refreshment. So you got to charge a much higher price because they're not going to be able to go anywhere else. Um, but yeah, so that's how much it is. Folks, look at this view from, this is where we are, the cafe bit. Lots of chairs, tables, etc. That is where I showed you earlier where you can get the high view. And then look at this. As I mentioned, look, the quarry all the way around, but they've made good use of it. So this is a great way just to chill during the summer. Exactly, turn around. Folks, we are en route to another view. It's a bit of a hike. So this is hiking, walking, cross country, anything that someone from the city doesn't want to do. So it shouldn't be too long now, and this is just a straight walk from the cafe. So if you ever want the translation, this means that this is where the dinosaurs used to live. Okay, you hiking crew are gonna love this. It's a bit of a, you know, you can see that's the flat surface there. So this reminds me of my days in that town, Bardo, getting absolutely put in the, the wrong position. Google lied. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I know you can't see because of the camera angle. I fucking hate hiking. I've got fresh trainers on as well, look. <laughs> oh, the shit I do for YouTube. All right, anyone that has mobility issues, you ain't gonna make this, I'm telling you right now. You can see, still the rock formations, and look, if I raise the camera, 
you can see right at the end the quarry right there okay the path is flattening it out now the only thing I'm thinking of is how the fuck are we going to get down? alright I understand what's so significant about this thing right here you ready? to another view and somewhere different to go away from basically the center which is where Vavil Castle is look and there's tons of people literally top of the there. there's a lady there there's lots of people there and below the limestone quarry which is here you can see tons of people sunbathing and you can pretty much realize how high we're uh, high up high how bloody hell how high up we are bloody hell but look do you know what's interesting you may not see it but you have the mound right there See, everything's fenced off. I'm telling you right now, if there were no fences here, it would be absolutely curtains for someone. They're going to be taking a rolling tumble. All right, we're going to take one view of the lake before I wrap this up. This is literally like an adventure day. Adventurous day. Bloody hell, look at that. Is that not a view or is that not a view? I'm not sure if you can see, but there's a dude paddleboarding right on the bottom. I'm already back at HQ, which is where the cafe is. We've seen a couple of cool little spots. And especially, it makes it better on a day like this as well. Blue sky and it's not really hot or anything like that but the sun's out not bad on the national day in this country that is it the end of the video i'm just going to wrap it up here what a great place to go away from the town center it's free plenty of places to sunbathe go for a swim hike be around nature all for free how cool is that thanks for watching and I will see you all on the next one. Just to be clear, look how many people have arrived just now. And on my special watch, you can see it's almost 11. That is the reason why you should go early, because I've been here for hours.